prior to 10 o'clock last night, Officer David Romero passed away. Officer David Romero leaves behind a wife and a four-month-old newborn baby. Grief and heartbreak tonight as Utah mourns the loss of 31-year-old South Salt Lake Police Officer and Marine Corps veteran David Romrell, as we said, struck and killed by a fleeing suspect's car on Saturday night. What began as a burglary call ended with Officer Romrell and a suspect dead and a second suspect in jail. Now, that second suspect has now been released, and we have team coverage tonight. ABC4's Andrew Reeser learned new information about the deceased suspect, but we start with Rosie Nguyen with community reaction to Officer Romrell's death. Patricia Stringer moved across the street from the South Salt Lake Police Department nearly three years ago. She says her experience with law enforcement has always been positive. When I first moved in, they were very, uh, uh, quite a few of them would come by, ask if they could help us do anything or anything. When Stringer heard the news last night about Officer David Romrell, who was killed in the line of duty, she says the thought that he might have been someone she's interacted with before broke her heart. Really bad because it's someone personal, you know. Someone that you actually t knew that interacted with you that was kind to you, so it automatically makes you feel bad. Officer Rombrell was a former Marine who served multiple tours. He leaves behind a wife and a four-month-old baby. Stringer's house now dons these blue ribbons to honor Officer Rombrell, an initiative Laura Lethem and her group, Police Wives of Utah, spearheaded to support his family. She wants his wife Elizabeth to know that the community will make sure they're taken care of. They're family. It is your family. It's a tight-knit community, and you mourn together. You have cheer together when good things happen. You lift each other when you need help. Reporting in South Salt Lake, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News. Officer Romrell is the first officer to be killed in the line of duty in the history of the South Salt Lake Police Department. There is a GoFundMe account to raise money for his family, and you can find that link on our website at abc4.com.